What is going on, everybody? It's Friday. It's uh, it's my first day off in fucking ages, or it seems like it. And we've got a few things to do today. So if I don't get them done, I'm gonna be really fucked off. So let's hope I do. I just had a shower. I'll be hitting the gym sometime today. Uh, but I've had a few things in my mind lately which are finance related. So I did I did say in a previous video that the, uh, having a mortgage is, is making my finances not not so good anymore. Well, it's not the mortgage. It's not. It's really not the mortgage. I mean, I'm paying three seventy five a week um, to have my place. But then on top of that, you've got rates. You've got body corporate fees. You've got insurances. I've got my car payment. I've got health insurance. I've got, I've got two gym memberships. I've got a credit card that's maxed out. You know, so it, it all mounts up. So today, basically, I'm planning on ringing every single place, getting the phone number, ringing every single place, and putting my payments on the same date of the month if I can. So then, basically, I know that on that day of the month, this much money is coming out. And it's not coming out periodically, you know. Um, you know, different days each month, different amounts. Like, I've got no idea where my fucking money's going. To be honest with you, I know I've got all these covers, all these bills and stuff, but I just don't know where it's going or when it's going, or how it's going. So uh, that is my first first mission today: is to sort out my bloody bills, um, and try to get them in line, because yeah, it's just a it's a bit of a head fuck. Um, and also because I'm actually in a position where I think I may be able to buy a second property. So what I've basically done is I've decided not to put all my cash onto my credit card and onto my car and everything and get down to and, and pay it off. I've basically decided to save my cash, have that in an, in an account and then keep like just, just keep those debts um, at bay. You know what I mean? Like. So just pay, pay interest. Um, the principal's not really coming down, but what I've done is save my cash in another account. So now I've got an amount that's at least 5% of a deposit of a second place, because when I first bought my place, the, my main goal was to buy a second one as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I've basically ignored all my other bills and, and saved up this cash. So now I do have a deposit to buy another one. Um, and now I'm just deciding what is the best the best route to go. Should I use most of my cash to buy a second place, get into another a, a bigger mortgage, but you know with the vision of maintaining like having these two properties on my on my books, getting again in another in a better position in another six months, buying another one, getting another position in another six months. Because if I go and spend all my cash on bloody debts, it's putting me like what the fuck. It's all gone. I can't even use it for anything, you know? Like, there's a good debt and there's a bad debt. So, credit cards are bad debts, but I can't face putting 10 grand on a credit card when it's taken me fucking six months to save. It's like, nah. I'd rather have that credit card there. The banks only look at the actual, the actual limit. They don't even look at how much you've used of it. So I could have a 10 grand credit card there with no, with no balance on it, and the banks would still look at me negatively for having it, so... I'm going to keep that there and use the cash as a deposit on a second house. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. So that is exciting, but it's also a little bit stressful. So I need to, so before I do anything like that, I need to sort out my bills, sort out my payments and know exactly what's going on in my financial life. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to get myself some caffeine and then I'm going to sit down at the computer and uh, sort this shit out once and for all. <laughs> 